Welcome back to Maintenance Monday. In this video, I'm gonna show you three simple ways for how to remove a rounded out bolt because there's nothing more annoying than struggling against it. Now then, there could be any number of different bolts on your bike that are rounded out, and there could be a number of reasons for it, but chances are it's due to using tools incorrectly, using tools which aren't the correct size or fit for the job, or down to corrosion. Now that could be on the bolt head itself or on the thread. So here in the vise, I've clamped down three different size bolts, and then we're gonna try to remove them, acting as if the heads of each one are rounded out. Let's get to it. Before we get started, you do need to be aware that removing a rounded out bolt from your bike can sometimes be a simple job, but sometimes it can be a right pain in the butt. So plan for the worst, and then things are only ever gonna get better. But as you are trying to remove a rounded out bolt, you need to be careful not to use excessive force or you run the risk of damaging some of those components. First method, and sometimes the simplest, is to find a suitable size Torx bit for the bolt that you're trying to remove. You need to find one that is a little size larger or one size above what fits into the hole nice and easily. Then, taking a hammer, you can simply knock that into the head of the bolt and it should stay firmly in place. And that way, you can use a suitable ratchet or another driver to undo the bolt that is stuck in place. Now, as you are banging this into the head of the bolt, it is gonna exert a fairly high amount or large amount of force through the bolt into the component that it's attached to. So you don't wanna do this on any delicate areas of your bike. That way, when this is banged in, it's gonna bite into the side of the bolt head and allow you to hopefully remove it nice and easy. If that's not working for you, next up, a mole grips or locking pliers like these. Now they're not a bike specific tool and they can be purchased from local hardware or DIY stores. They work by clamping around the head of the bolt and are adjusted using this dial on the back and they exert a lot of force onto the head of the bolt so that you can then get plenty of leverage and remove it. They come in loads of different sizes, small ones like this, long nose ones like this, and big chunky boy ones like this. But what you do need to bear in mind is that they're only suitable for bolts that you're able to get a good grip or purchase onto the head to. So a domed head like this, these are gonna be no good whatsoever. And you do need to be mindful that you need to have space around the component fitted to your bike so you can not only clamp them on, but also turn them as well. Once you've got that bolt removed, the head of it is gonna be a little bit chewed up. So you know what to do, head down to your local bike shop, ask them to find you a shiny new bolt. The final method for this video, if the previous two methods haven't solved your problem, is to use an easy out or a bolt extractor kit. Now by using one of these, you're gonna to need to drill a small pilot hole into the bolt head. So you do need to apply a little bit of caution because you don't wanna be drilling through to your precious bike, do you? Now these work by creating a hole using the drill bit that is relevant to the size of the extractor itself. Now this is an example of one of the extractors. Now it has a reverse thread on it. So that means as you wind it into the head of the bolt that you're trying to remove, it goes in further and gets tighter and tighter until it bites in enough that it then undoes and removes that bolt. But that being said, using an extractor set like this, it will only work on your normal right-handed threads. Kits like this come in a variety of different shapes and sizes can be purchased for a relatively low cost from hardware or DIY stores, but you do need to make sure you buy a kit with the suitable size parts relative to the size of bolts that you're gonna find on your bike, because lots of these things are based around automotive use, so they're gonna be absolutely massive, so make sure you choose the right one. And you're also gonna need a drill. This is my cheap drill from the garage build. Lots of people mocked me for it because it is quite a cheap and rubbish one but it's still going strong. Ha, it's a joke's on you. So those are the three methods I go to when I'm faced with a rounded out bolt. And you know what? They've served me well over the last 10 years or so, but there are of course lots of other methods out there. So if you have a method that you prefer to use when you're trying to move a rounded out bolt and you've got any tips of your own, let us know in the comments section down below. Try help everybody out. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Click like, and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do, because it helps support the channel. See you later.